Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. It is Friday. It has been a week. It has been super busy um, with so many different things. And I mean, we did accomplish a lot. Finn. Um, my dad was uh, down to fix our front hose pipe and back hose pipe both blew in the winter. I don't think we turned them off properly. Um, or we just, I don't know, it was chaotic when we moved in in November. And I think that some things like that just went amiss. So he came and fixed them, which was amazing because that probably saved us hundreds and hundreds of dollars on plumbing. Also, um, we needed to fix the front of our house. Um, because it's brick there in the winter um, where the flower bed was touching the house, the brick was sucking up the moisture from the flower bed and it was, um, because it was so cold, making the brick flake off, which needed to be fixed. And my dad and his friend who's a contractor told us that. So my dad um, helped Chris dig up all around the front in the flower bed. Um, I'll pop a little video up on the screen of kind of the situation. Um, so we dug it all up and we put this dimple board down, which is like plastic with dimples in it, which um, stops the moisture from sitting on the house and then put all the flower bed back. And we needed to do that plus fix the garden hose pipe um, before we planted anything. So um, I'm really grateful that he was able to help us do that. And then there's a few other things he said that he's gonna work on fixing for us, which is great. Um, so I'm super happy to have that done because we want to buy like our front garden is just a mess it's just like dirt right now and there's some things that are growing back that we don't know what they are so we'll leave those alone but our ac unit is in the front of our house so we want to cover that up so i think we were thinking use originally like you bushes now we're thinking of getting some boxwood so i think um we'll hopefully get those soon and now because all that's dealt with we can plant those um, and because the frost has just ended in Toronto, I think it's a great time for that to happen. So that's at least a positive, but Thursday was just a disaster. I'll spare you the details of Thursday. It just, so many things kept going wrong, like our car breaking down and things like that. But at the end of the day, I feel like it was super nice. I had to pick up um, some prescriptions at Rexall, which is not normally where we go. So while I was waiting, I grabbed a bunch of snacks to make us feel better after our bad day. And it was so beautiful and sunny out. I think that day it was like 21 or maybe even a high of 24. So we sat out with a cup of tea and all the treats that I bought on our front yard. Our neighbors came out who were around our age and we were chatting with them. Um, and then Chris and I went for a really nice walk which was so beautiful. I'll put a little video on the screen because it's just so stunning. Um, but other than that, this week, I'm hoping to just get a bunch of cleaning done. That's kind of why I'm on the third floor right now. Um, so, yeah. After my Instagram polls the other week about vacuums um, and some humming and hawing about it, I did decide to get a Dyson, but Best Buy sells refurbished Dysons from the actual Dyson outlet. It's the refurbished by Dyson with a one year Dyson warranty, which is the same warranty that like the actual Dysons come with, I'm pretty sure. So I decided to get the V10 refurbished with the one year Dyson warranty because um, it was significantly cheaper. So it arrived today, shipping came in within two days. Um, so I put it together and just did a quick vacuum of the bedroom rug the bed is covering the majority of the rug there's only like the strip around the sides and the bottom um and then there's some other stuff that need to be vacuumed oh my goodness is there so much dirt in there like i didn't even finish i just wanted to quickly try it it's disgusting so i feel like i've got to document this as i do it but look at all that it's so horrible like the rug didn't look that dirty but i guess with the cats all of their fluff was in there so anyways also I can see my hair <laughs> is wrapped around the um, Dyson thing so anyways I will um, continue to update you as I vacuum um, also it showed that the Dyson had like a red stick um, and it said like you know the colors could vary but then it said possible colors red I actually got a pink one so I'm excited about that because I'd actually prefer the pink but um, yeah, so it is charging. 
and I am super excited. It feels so silly to be excited about vacuuming, but yeah. So this weekend is probably gonna be a big, big cleaning weekend and I can't wait. Also, if this somewhat intrigues you that I got the refurbished one, I'm gonna link it in the description box um, in case you are maybe interested in getting a refurbished one. Even if you wanna get the V7 or V8, they do sell those ones as well. And again, they are significantly cheaper than a brand new one. And honestly, I think they're just as good. It says on the um, packaging it came with, like as it came in a Dyson box, it said like Dyson has refurbished this, their engineers have tested it, cleaned it out. Honestly, there's no scratches or anything on the one that I got. Um, there's still like the plastic covering the Dyson label. The only thing is like this sticker that I will probably pull off looks slightly scratched, but the rest of it, anything that matters looks completely brand new. So pretty happy with this. Since I am having a big cleaning weekend, I'm gonna tackle the bedroom. Honestly, because we haven't done much in here, I feel like it's a dumping ground. The worst dumping ground is my office and closet, but this looks pretty bad. So I think I'm gonna take everything out of here and organize it, maybe? We'll see. Definitely needs a clean up though. I'm sitting on the floor of the bedroom looking at the closet situation, so I started to like take stuff out of the existing closet in here, which is just our storage right now. And then I was like, why am I doing this if I'm potentially going to have to redo this soon anyways, because we want to add a closet in one space and then the other space, we need to cut out some wall to make um, another door. So then I was trying to decide whether or not I want to tackle that as a DIY project, which obviously would be beyond my own capabilities. I'd probably need my dad's help um, which means I'd be waiting till probably July. Or if I call in someone like California Closets, uh, which is less fun for you guys to watch. So I don't really know what I want to do. I also think California Closets would probably be super expensive. So I was trying to see if I could like do it a hack. Well, let me flip the camera. So on this wall here, this is going to go up to the third floor and there's like a chaise that comes on the side. It's just here because we want to get the floors done upstairs. Um, so this is all going to be closet and this isn't very deep. I think it's about 19 inches. So I think that there will be closet that is mostly drawers and like folded um, stuff with doors. And then over here will probably be a little more hanging stuff but I don't know I could do a little do a little deeper um over here I don't know I just need to decide I think it'd be cool to do it as a DIY but we'll see I feel like I'm all over the map this week I'm sorry so I started thinking about the closet thing which I said so then I went on to the Ikea planner and I actually think I can make the Ikea packs system fit on the one wall and I designed it and it looks good and I think it's what I would want. So now I've just come up to see how this closet will function because it's a little funkier because I was building in shoe storage into the Ikea one and I was like, well, there's this funky little corner in here that I can't actually use for anything. So I think potentially that will be shoe storage. Look at how long Finn is getting. Good morning. It is a rainy day. That's why it's so dark. Um, but I thought I would show you how to make one of my favorite breakfast things, which is Dutch baby pancakes. They are super easy. So I thought I would quickly show you that. So I'm gonna put this recipe in my description box in case you do wanna make it. Um, I've got the oven set to 425. I've got all of my ingredients out and I'm gonna start by breaking the two eggs into my magic bullet cup. I use a blender just so it's nice and smooth. So next thing I'm gonna do is add a half a cup of flour. I always add the, the eggs then the flour because I need my um, measuring cup to add half a cup of milk.
Then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of granulated sugar. Then I need a teaspoon of vanilla, which I can't do while holding the camera. Um, and then a half of a teaspoon of salt. So I am now going to blend this all up. So the interesting part of Dutch baby pancakes is that they're made in a skillet in the oven. So um, if you make half of the recipe, these little skillets that you get in those baking kits from like shoppers work really well. But um, for the full recipe, you need something about this size. This isn't a perfect example, but it's all that I have. So it's a frying pan um, and it has a metal handle. So there's no plastic on it. And you put two tablespoons of butter inside the skillet. And when the oven is ready, you put that in for about three minutes to heat up until the butter is melted and frothy. I left it a little long, so it's a little bit brown, but that is okay. So I'm just going to pour this mixture in there and then I'm going to put this in the oven. So I just had to show you it quickly. I'm going to leave it a little bit longer, but look at how good that looks. So I have a gas oven and I cooked mine for about 12 minutes. Um, and you can see like even this is browned. So the recipe says 15 to 20 minutes. So if you have an electric oven, I would just check it around 12 minutes just to be sure. I am gonna dust it with some icing sugar and then I just serve them like normal pancakes with um, some butter and some syrup. I find that this is enough to serve two people, but depending on how hungry you are, I guess you could make um, double the recipe so that you have one each, but Chris and I will cut this in half and split this for breakfast. It smells so good. Good morning guys, I am just getting ready for the day and thought that it would be a good opportunity to walk through some of my favorite products and products that I am buying in the Sephora sale because um, Sephora has one of their sales on right now. So if you're the highest tier, you get 20% off. The next tier, I believe, is 15. And then the lowest tier is 10. So I think that the 10% level, if you aren't a member of their um, program, if you signed up today, I think you still would get that 10% off. But you'd have to just double check on their website. But I always think it's a great opportunity to stock up on things that I'm running out of, things that I use often and will run out of. Um, or things that I want to try. So I'm just gonna put some dry shampoo in my hair, um, throw on a face mask, and then kind of walk you through some of the things I'm buying as I do them. I think I've mentioned it before, but um, maybe not on YouTube, but um, this is not in the Sephora sale. You can buy this in many places, but this is the dry shampoo that I use. Um, I like to get the blonde one rather than the brunette one or the white plain one, just, um, I think it's better in case I forget to brush some of it out. But what I do is I spray it in my hair. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, then I leave it for like 15 minutes and then I'll go back and kind of like rough it up and kind of distribute it. I think it soaks in a little better when I do it that way. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, put on a face mask. We went for a walk yesterday and we were in full sun so I put on sunscreen and my face just feels horrible right now. So I'm gonna throw on this. This is my favorite mask. Um, you can get this at Sephora. They also, I think, have little like smaller sizes in case you don't wanna commit to it. So as my mask is drying, um, I wanna show you, this is the cleanser that I use. I am refilling on two of these because I love it so much. Um, and I use it morning and night. Also by the same range. Um, they sell an instant detox mask and I have heard amazing things about it. I really wanted to try it, but it's sold out, unfortunately. So that is too bad. This guy is not supposed to be in the sink anymore and that is why we got his fountain. All nice and clean now. So I am going to apply my favorite moisturizer. I love Sunday Riley products. This is probably one of my all-time favorite products in general. Um, they are sold out of the full size of this, so I had to buy two of the smaller ones in the sale. I reached out to their team to ask if they are just not carrying it anymore, and they said that because of COVID, they have just run out of one of the ingredients in it, so they don't have any of the full-size pots. So they said, not to worry, it's coming back. 
Um, in case you want to try it, again, Tidal is my all-time favorite. It's light. I use it all year round. It is amazing. Also, Sunday Riley did just come out with an SPF like a few days ago, and I think their PR team is sending me some of it, so I will let you know how that goes, but it's not on the Sephora site yet, so unfortunately you can't get that in the sale. Another thing that I'm filling up on is this. So I use this as an under eye concealer and I find it pretty good. Another product that I did order for dark under eyes was a Becca product. I think, let me just check what it's called. So it's called Becca Under Eye Correcting Illuminator or something like that. Um, the thing about that when I ordered it is I think that Becca Cosmetics is going out of business in September of this year. So I was on the fence about trying it, but I feel like it's something that's gonna last quite a long time. So I decided I would just go for it. Um, so if I've mentioned anything in this video, it's all gonna be linked in the description box. If you wanna try any of these things, I will link them for you down there. The last thing that I'll mention that I did refill on is this. So I love using this. I used to use their other brow pencil, which has a thicker, and you guys can see that. The last thing that I'll share that I'm restocking on is this brow pencil by Benefit. I used to use their other one, um, which has a thicker end, which I've been using lately because I'm out of the other one. Um, but I do prefer the more precise pencil. And if there's any other products that you want to know that I use, um, I'll link them in the description box. I have a whole blog post on it, but I mean, makeup is not so much my thing. I like to do light makeup, um, which I did hear is the trend right now, just doing light makeup and then the feathered brow look. But my favorite inspo for makeup is um, in the fro on Instagram. So if you want some inspo, that is kind of the direction that I would head for something like that. I'll also just quickly show you some PR product I got recently. So Glam Glow sent me this a little while back. So it is their super mud clearing treatment, which is amazing for breakouts. I've actually used it for many years, um, but I don't use it so much as a mask anymore. I literally just use it as a mask for like actual breakouts and just kind of use it as spot treatment. And then this I've never tried before, but it is a Glam Glow moisturizer. So maybe I will give that a try. And then Smashbox me a bunch of lipsticks and lip liners so let me get all of those out i've really tried to cut down on what products i allow to be gifted to me especially since i moved um because my dress is just cut off so people couldn't just keep sending me stuff so i'm not sure that i would have said yes to this just because i mean we're in lockdown i haven't been wearing a lot of lipstick but i do still appreciate it and any product that i don't end up keeping i um or using i just give to friends or family so I will probably end up doing that with some of these but so they sent me lipsticks and lip liners so here are the different colors that they sent and then some lip liners so I will get out uh, some of these just to show you how they look so here is the out loud lipstick honestly it's a bit darker than I would have thought it would be um, and then this is a lip liner so this is the color medium neutral rose they have different names than the lipsticks i would have thought that they would match but they are slightly different so that was very very kind of both smashbox and glam glow also because we're talking about smashbox i am still um loving this mascara i don't wear it that often maybe once or twice a week but thought i would mention it because it is not on my blog post from the last sephora sale um so I will link it in the description box in case you do want to try it out. I did an H&M order um, recently and it just arrived this week. And this was kind of a long shot that I decided to order. I didn't have any white shirts and I know they look super cute with a lot of things. So I thought I would try it. Not 100% sold. Um, it is quite a, like an oversized fit, even though this is an extra small. Um... So, I don't know. I've also seen it um, looking really cute if you put like a baggy kind of sweater over it. So, I will try that quickly to show you. 
does look pretty cute like this. I feel like kind of stuffed in here, but um, I've got on the Spanx leggings and I would probably wear my black loafers, but it does look cute. The shirt wasn't super expensive, so I'm gonna probably keep it and keep trying it with different things. Um, and I will show you the other things that I got from H&M. They weren't super exciting. They were just like flower pots, but I'll quickly show you anyways. Here is one of the pots that I got. So I already had that one and then I liked it so much that I wanted to get a smaller one. I also got this little set of vases from Amazon. So I will link those. I got this the other day, which is real and it just makes me happy. It's so cute. And here's the other vase I got. Um, I don't think that this Peace Lily is going to live in it forever, but I just wanted to put something in it. It's super cute. The one other thing that I got was this wrapping paper. It just has this little botanical print all over it. And the reason I threw it in is because I feel like I never have non-Christmas wrapping paper and I just thought this was pretty nice. And I also thought it would look nice if I wrapped a book in it potentially to put in the bookcase. So anyways, it's not that expensive, so yeah. I wanna quickly show you the Dyson. So looks like a normal Dyson. It's got the pink handle and then the bottom bit. I have noticed that my hair really gets tangled up in there, so I've gotta clean that out, sadly. Um, and I've been using it, so obviously it's a little bit dirty from all my fluffy cats. And this is pretty cool. So if you don't have a Dyson, you don't know how this works. I am excited by all the things I'm learning. So this pops off and then this part like comes out so that you can clean it all out. And then there's a filter in the top that you can wash out. Um, and then it came with like a docking station that you can hang on the wall. I just haven't figured out where I want to put it at this point, but super happy that I did end up getting this because it is seriously doing such a great cleaning job. I feel like the cleaning jobs won't be as impressive after having this for a little while. Right now, I think it's just picking up all the stuff that our central vac wasn't picking up. So, um, I mean, still amazing that there's so much dirt and fluff around our house. I mean, we do have two cats and I have long hair, um, but I still find it incredible considering I do actually vacuum and use the central vac quite often. So anyways, I will continue to be excited about that. Um, and if you want a Dyson and you don't have one, I would check out the Best Buy thing that I talked about. And again, I will link it in the description box. I just want to quickly show you the closet design that I was kind of working on. So I think the space that we have is one 83 so this is a little bit smaller um but we've got three different sections so i think this is 75 50 and 50 so we've got a small hanging section because we also have the closet that will be like over here um and then we have drawers i wanted to put some at the bottom but apparently because of the door hinges you can't do that so um i've just got empty then I've got drawers I've got drawers with glass then I've got these little like pull out trays that um are drawers for like jewelry I think and then I've got shelving above so I think that's kind of roughly what I want to do um the doors are kind of annoying so let me see if I can show you that so because this one's a 75 inch section they only sell 50 inch doors and 25 inch doors so on this 75 section I've got a 25 inch door and a 50 inch door so that's kind of frustrating um and then in terms of the handles I don't know if you can see this but I'm thinking of just getting something quite subtle um and then I'm going to put the picture frame molding on the door so it looks like it's built into the wall and then I'll put the crown molding and base and everything so that's kind of what I'm thinking so I think I'm going to finalize that closet situation this week and maybe see if I can get it delivered and then maybe next weekend I can work on it. That would be kind of exciting. Just trying to prioritize projects that actually would make a large difference to our lives and I would really love to get our bedroom sorted out because it just feels like a our secondary dumping ground that never gets cleaned up right now and I want it to feel as nice as our main floor or at least our living room and dining room does. But um, other than that guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, 
I feel like nothing super eventful happened this week other than a bit of spring cleaning, but um, hopefully next week will be a little different. We did have some great moments this week where it just felt so spring-like and summer-like where we just went for some nice strolls around the neighborhood and sat out in the front yard and had tea and just watched as walk people walked by. So that was really nice. So even if things didn't happen on the vlog this week, at least it felt you know, kind of nice for us in general. And it was nice to have Chris around, but anyways, I hope you guys had a great weekend. I hope you have a great week ahead and that the weather forecast doesn't actually mean it's going to rain the entire week because that would kind of be depressing for all of us. Um, but anyways, hopefully, uh, kitchen plans to come, maybe the closet to come and some other fun things. But anyways, have a great week guys. Bye.